How do you deal with discomfort? What? You'd better figure it out. Your success is at stake. Greetings, everyone. Jeff Shore back with another five minute sales training. We're starting this year off talking about boldness, talking about how we deal with discomforts. The fact of the matter is that sales is uncomfortable, that sales can be seen as a series of uncomfortable moments, whether we're dealing with objections or talking about money or asking for the sale or follow up or whatever it might be. Or maybe it's just that moment when the customer tells you that the dog doesn't think this is such a good idea. Um, Jeff, I don't think it's such a good idea. Hey, customers can be unpredictable. Am I right? The point is that the sales process is rife with uncomfortable moments. It's one of the reasons why some people never succeed in sales. I don't know if you ever had that situation where you meet somebody on an airplane or a cocktail party or wedding reception and you're just chatting and you say, what do you do and what do you do? You say, I'm in sales. And then they, what do they do? They give you this one. Oh, I could never be in sales. I tried, but I was not very good at it. Now, it doesn't mean that they're not smart enough, that they're not intelligent, that they're not a, a good person of a good personality. It probably means that they couldn't deal with the discomforts. I'm trying to eat lunch here. It's one of the things about great salespeople is that they know how to deal with the discomforts that come along with the job. Now, of course, what might be uncomfortable for you might not be so for me and vice versa, but everyone has their thing. The reason that they have their thing is that discomfort affects us all differently, but our brain takes that discomfort and interprets it as a threat. So if you've got that sales discomfort, it's a normal thing. The question is, what do we do with it? Well, it begins by understanding a really important principle. Every moment of discomfort leads to a moment of decision. This is super important. So I'm going to say it again. Every moment of discomfort leads to a moment of decision. This is undeniable. You want an example? Just pick one from your own life. Your cousin asked to borrow $300 to make a car payment. You're asked to attend a Boy Scout spaghetti feed and you don't know how to say no. It's time to exercise, but you are just not feeling it. Hey, treadmill, how do you like this incline? Now, in every case, the moment of discomfort leads to a moment of decision, and it is the quality of decisions that we make when we are uncomfortable that define our success. I've told this story before about a time when my wife and I were walking into a Chipotle. I, I, I'm, I've got my hand on the door and I hear this lady's voice out of nowhere. Excuse me, do you have any money? I want to buy some food. Is that uncomfortable for anybody besides me? And I'm the guy who's typically going to go, no, 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 I'm just going to walk on. And then I'll make up a story as to why it was the right thing to do. Oh, she was just going to buy drugs. And because I didn't give her money, the whole of society is better off because of my brave action. This is how the rationalizing brain works. But I was there with my wife. And when this lady said, do you have any money? I want to buy some food. My wife says, you need food? Come on in. We're at a Chipotle. Let me buy you some dinner. The lady says, oh, actually, it's, it's for my kids. And they're in a motel room up the street. Karen says, oh, your kids are hungry? By all means, come in. I'll buy food for you and all of your kids. And the lady says, well, I wouldn't want it to get cold. And Karen says, you know what? If they're hungry, I don't think they would mind. The lady turns around and walks away. That's boldness in action. I looked at her. I said, good on you, babe. Well done. You practice boldness and I didn't have to be guilty, feel guilty about moving on. No, what she did is she took me to school right there on boldness, right? Listen, you're always going to have one of two choices. Yield, give in to your discomfort or lean in. You can do what makes you uncomfortable or you can give in and take the cheap route. The cheap route is admittedly easier. It's also wrong. Now look, the key here is not what to decide, but when to decide. The time that you want to deal with sales discomforts is before you are uncomfortable. 
So I want to challenge you, start small this week and look at some of the minor discomforts that you have to face, but decide before you get to that moment how you're going to respond. This is something called cognitive behavioral therapy. You can literally teach yourself. You can decide right now while you're watching this video how you're going to respond to a discomfort in the future. Brainstorm what that discomfort is and decide right now how you're going to decide. You will be a better person for it. And if you lean into it, this can be your boldest and best year ever. Hey, thanks for watching the 5-Minute Sales Training. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, you know, all of those YouTube things. And if you want to get these episodes in your email every Saturday morning, just head over to jeffshow.com. You can sign up right there. Until next week, learn more to earn more.